gotta move. And her opponent, she's better known as the Heartbreaker. She's hailing from Fort Myers, Florida, weighing in at 118 pounds. If you're Put your pants together for Jessica French! Alright folks, this is our second female celebrity boxing match of the evening between Jessica French and Devin James. Devin James, of course, wearing the black t-shirt and the heather gray shorts. And Jessica French wearing a black tank top. She is in the red shorts. Devin James, of course, been given the nickname Tiger Woods' mistress number 15, but as she told me earlier, she absolutely hates that. But then again, <laughs> this is the United States of America. And let's put it this way, when someone gives you a nickname like that, you're going to have it forever. So Devin James right now, one of the stars of our celebrity boxing card tonight, fighting Jessica French, the heartbreaker. Both girls are around the same in height. Jessica French, 5 feet 5 inches. Devin James, 5 feet 4 inches. Devin James, 130 pounds. Jessica French, 118 pounds. Our first round is about to begin. The bell is rung already twice. <laughs> I don't know if these girls actually heard it, but here we go. Right now, French pressing the action, trying to get inside. Oh, Devin James lands a nice right hook. I have to admit, Jessica French really trying to press the action and actually knocks Devin James down. I think that's more of a slip. I don't know if that's ruled as a knockdown or not. I think that's more of a slip, but then again, with pillow gloves, everything's a slip. But right now, Devin James pressing the action going right at Jessica French. Her headgear seems to be a little uh, off kilter. That's all right. Quickly fixed by our referee, Brad Showingood of Miami. Our first round is over with right now. Definitely pretty exciting compared, of course, to our last fight. Jessica French coming out, of course, in that very first round and pressing the action, trying to do what she could to obviously make contact, which is the name of the game when it comes to this sort of pillow glove boxing stuff. You obviously always want to try to make as much contact as possible. A lot of times what happens is, is both girls are pawing at each other, basically pushing each other, if you will, with those large gloves. So a lot of times what ends up happening is, is like I had said before, no one actually gets a punch in cleanly, but that's due in large part to the fact that they can't even see each other a lot of times because of the headgear and, of course, the actual height and weight of the gloves. Our second round right now is underway between Jessica French and Devin James. Once again, Jessica French in the black tank top and the red shorts. Devin James in the black t-shirt and the heather gray shorts. And right now, a nice body shot was landed by French. And French is really trying to get in there, but of course she's turning her head, trying to avoid getting hit, which gives Devin James at times a clear advantage to kind of knock her on the side of the temple with a nice hook. But sometimes it's kind of one of those things, like I said, it's difficult. Wow, French has just turned her back right now. Her headgear is all askew, got hit right in the back of the head. In professional boxing, that would not be allowed. But rabbit punches perhaps are fair game here in celebrity female boxing with large pillow gloves. I don't necessarily know the rules verbatim. <laughs> perhaps you can find them online somewhere. Like I said, kids, this is pure, pure entertainment. I don't even know if rules exist. <laughs> with any of this, to be brutally honest with you. Perhaps they do make them up on the fly. Round three is about to get underway, and with round two in the books, you would have to say that Jessica French, of course, is definitely the aggressor up until this point. However, Devin James perhaps has landed a few more punches cleanly, so it's kind of hard to tell right now exactly who would be winning this particular pillow glove fight. Devin James, of course, from Tampa, Florida. Jessica French from Fort Myers. French was actually born in New Hampshire and James born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Steel City. 
She must be a Stellars fan if she's from Pittsburgh. Devin James's favorite sport, by the way, is football. The favorite sport of Jessica French is basketball. Right now, we have a lot of action here in this particular round. Jessica French, in my opinion right now, seems to be the one that really does want to initiate the action inside that ring. But uh, Devin James is probably what one would call, at least up until this point, the better counterpuncher. <laughs> Although I don't even know if you can counterpunch with any sort of accuracy when it comes to this type of fighting. But if you want to call that a counterpunch, then I'm sure Devin James would be a halfway decent counterpuncher so far. But, but, and I do say but, it's very hard, of course, like I said, to be able to score this. So who knows, the judges may have it in French's favor. Favorite music, by the way, of Jessica French, in case you're scoring at home, is reggae. Favorite hobby is working out, and she actually enjoys kickboxing. Favorite music for Devin James is 80s rock, Poison, Cinderella, The Crew, all that good groovy stuff. Digs the 80s rock. Devin James played softball, by the way, just so you know. She was a fast pitch pitcher. She also played basketball and soccer. Interesting, got a scholarship to actually play at Notre Dame. I believe that says Notre Dame. Four pitching, interesting. Jessica French, of course, has MMA and fitness training as her background. Interesting stuff here between these two ladies. We're gonna go up now to uh, our ring announcer to obviously get the results of this particular bout between Devin James and, of course, Jessica French. And right now we are waiting, of course, to see exactly who has won this particular bite. bout. Excuse me, I'm being asked uh, questions here as we're live. This is kind of rather, if you will, disturbing. <laughs> A lot of people walking in front of me, folks. A lot of people asking me questions. It's very difficult so sometimes to commentate. I do I do apologize, but uh, this is very difficult. This is more of a, you know, bar room type of fighting atmosphere than what I'm used to in professional sports and college sports. But hey, it's always fun. And listen, Devin, wow, is that okay? Devin James, Devin James has actually won. Devin James is the winner of this particular battle.